everybody, my name's Dave and welcome to the Points of Articulation. So we already went over the 1989 Batmobile, the Batman Forever Batmobile. So what's next? Batman and Robin Batmobile. Now uh, a lot of people don't like Batman and Robin. Um, to me, as a kid, I enjoyed it. I, I liked Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, as an adult, uh, it's hit and miss. It's it's cheesy and all that stuff. Uh, I still liked Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. I thought he was funny with all those catchphrases. A lot of people don't like that, but you know it is what it is, and it I guess it kind of killed Batman because after that I didn't see a movie until Batman Begins. So uh, you know, like all the other Batman vehicles, we'll look at the sculpt. And then we'll look at the paint, and that's about it. But uh, at first glance, it looks pretty neat. So let's get started. Okay, the scope for this Batmobile is a little unique. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's a mixture between the 89 and the Batman Forever, but it, it has similar aspects to both. Uh, and I'll get to that in just a few seconds here. And uh, we'll start at the top, the hood. We have a molded section here, and this is all hard. I think this is metal go down to our cockpit, our steering wheel and seat, then we have our winds here, two of them this time, so that's pretty neat, work our way back, now instead of having a rocket, now they're on the side, so you got six of them, so that was a pretty cool design, looking at the side, we have our wheels, which uh, they do have a Batman symbol there, but it's hard to make out, it's all chrome. Let me see if I could zoom in there for you guys. Yeah. So there you go. That looks pretty good. Now move down here. And here's what I'm getting to with the uh, Batman Forever. How it has these openings here. And you can see the engine right through it. Similar to the Batman Forever, how we can see the chrome engine piece through the sides. This one shares that design, in toy form anyway. And then another wheel, and the wheels are rubber on this one again. Up to the front, we have our grates here. And through the center piece, which is uh, roughly shaped like a bat, like the two ears are here in the winds, you can see the turbine in the center, the engine that spins. And this side is the same as the other. And then underneath is molded. You know, they don't even have to do this, but it's cool that they do. And that's about it for the mold. So next is the paint. Okay, the paint for the Batman and Robin Batmobile is mostly this flat black. Then we have the chrome on the inside. Chrome for the tires. And two different types of silver. Chrome in the front and metal painted on these parts. I guess it could be a ram. And then it's also the same gray silver on the back for the engines. Um, the chrome piece for the steering wheel is the same as this. On the bottom it's a flat black. Nothing's done to it. And that's about it for the paint on this. There's not really much to talk about. It's mostly just black, very smooth, and it's it's a nice Batmobile, regardless of what you think of the movie. Uh, the Batmobile does capture, in my opinion, what a Batmobile should be. You know, it's got the bat and ram in the front, which some older Batmobiles had in the form of a bat, so it could hit cars and whatnot. It's got six engines, the bat wins. The only problem I would have with it is it only has one seat. Like, if he has to save somebody, you're pretty much screwed. But, uh, anyway, that that about does it. Uh, for the length of it, it measures, uh, I did this before, almost, almost five inches. It just barely makes it, even with the fins extended. But it's a nice size Batmobile. Like, uh, let me see, I'll get the other two I reviewed. And these Batmobiles are the original three. And what I mean by that is, when I was growing up, this is what I had. I also had the uh, 1960s Batman. I grew up watching that on TV. 
but uh, before I really knew about that, this was it. Um, this is my go-to Batmobile for my childhood. These other two, uh, they're nice, but nothing compares to the Michael Keaton version, Tim Burton's movie, Batman. So that does it for my review of the Batman and Robin Batmobile. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.